We're going to do a video on trip stock news, and we've got a TripAdvisor uh, stock chart here for you. Let's take a quick look and see what's going on. This is a daily chart with a 200-day moving average in blue. This is a classic example of why you always got to use moving averages for analysis and not for prediction. This, this uh, moving average, as you can see, this stock came down rallied above it here in November of 20 and when it crossed above the 200 day that was a huge buy signal you can see there's a big gap here and they just bought the heck out of it then when it came down here in July of 21 it came through it broke through the 200 day moving average that was rising at the time and they sold the heck out of it all the way down so it looked like a really good indicator you can go back up here and see the same thing but this is a classic right here a classic trap you don't use moving indicators to predict anything. You just use them to make an analysis of what's going on relative to what the sentiment is. And th this stock came up here and broke through and got a lot of people long. Got a lot of people who just took reasonable analysis and said, hey, this is a buy. And they jumped in and they bought this stock. And they're discovering today the stock is down now 21%. Down three dollars on 25 million shares. Average daily volume is 13 million shares. It's down 11 dollars and 13 cents. So they discovered today that um, I'm sorry, this stock is down 21 percent. Five million shares on two million average volume, and it's 18 dollars and 67 cents. I was reading the wrong line. So it's down 21 percent, down five dollars. We're talking about TripAdvisor. Um, but the point is they loaded up on this stock because it crossed the 200 day moving average and that's not a reason to buy a stock it's a reason to take a look at a stock really hard but it's not a reason to buy a stock and it's also a reason to maybe lighten up on a stock if you're long a stock for example here uh and so forth if you were short here it might have been a good idea to think about that and the same thing here but to buy automatically is another question so We'll take a look at this really quick from several perspectives. Let's go and take a look at the weekly chart. And we can see that TripAdvisor on a weekly basis was still in a deep bear market. You can see that the blue 200 week is here, ton of distance. We can see that on a weekly basis, all of our highs were lower. We can see it did put in a good bottom here on uh, July, the week of July 11th at um, $16.87. But when it rallied, all of a sudden we had a month's worth of lower lows. For, uh, excuse me, lower highs. So here is your high, that's your set point. We need to rally above that, and it didn't. It rallied, broke, rallied, and now it's broke big time. So that you can also see the bottoms. This bottom was lower, excuse me, this was a bottom rallied, a lower top, a lower bottom, a lower top. So this was, there was evidence here from a technical perspective that this stock was not a good stock to buy. You can see it's clearly distributing. So you know it's it's easy in hindsight i realize that but you always have to look at these moving averages not as predictive but just to just to get an, an analysis of what's going on big picture this is a weekly chart let's go to an hourly chart now and we can see um that this stock again used its hourly uh, moving averages as buy and sell points and there's nothing the matter with that is you can back test it you can say that this might be a good s system but the reality of it is this was a huge huge trap right here the 200 hour was flat a flat 200 hour or a flat 20 hour, any moving average that's flat is essentially telling you nothing. So you have to be really careful. And it was flat all the way back here from October 17th, oscillated over and above it, around it, just below it. But essentially, we were flat all the way back from here. If you take the moving average out of there, this price really wasn't doing anything. It was just oscillating right around 22. So again, I'm not saying there was huge warning signs, but there was some definite warning signs not to load up on this stock and to let it kind of start to let this 200 hour start to move up like this, like it did here. And then, of course, you, you, you miss a lot of this when you do that. If you're not early, you're going to miss a lot of this. But you also take a lot of risk that it's going to break down like it did here today. So that's what we've got for you for TripAdvisor today down um, Currently, as we're looking at it, TripAdvisor is down 22%. So let's take a look and see what RVM Research says about it. I'm not sure if we cover this stock, but let's take a look. And we do not cover it, but we do cover 190 plus stocks every morning before 7 a.m., 1, 5, 10, and 20 day holding periods. And you can see we cover Apple, NIO, Tesla, and so forth. Apple today's shows zero, which means it didn't think it was a good day to buy. And uh, the, anything that has zeros means not a good day to buy according to the algorithms and of course the prices are the prices you can get access to everything we cover including 190 stocks the most liquid futures contracts 
major forex pairs and BTC crypto at rbamresearch.com. Link in the description below. Free access, no credit card required. Everything's for entertainment purposes only. Can't use our entry prices or commentary for anything other than entertainment. You should always do your own analysis and you definitely trade at your own risk. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. If you have a, a, a ticker symbol you want us to do a chart on analysis for you, if it's a big one and you think people would like it, please leave it in the comment section below. And if it looks good, we'll do it for you.